Hey y'all, so I am painting today and I have been working on this reference photo. I've been drawing it out. My girl, you see her with the purple hair and kind of two-tone body. So I usually draw a reference all the time before going onto the canvas with some listen, good old Crayola color pencils, a pen, a pencil and just get it out there. I always do that. It just helps my brain to see it before I see it, if that makes sense. So right now it is 2.57. And if you did not know, I made this wallpaper, I hand painted it, and I just put it out on my website. So make sure you go on to ashleymia.com forward slash art. Is it forward slash? Hold on, let me check. Okay, yes, there it is. So you'll be able to see it, it'll pop up. Oh, there we go. But you'll be able to download. You just scroll right there and download. I got some original art up there as well, so go check it out. I'm kind of in a race for the daylight right now because I want to get a cool video for you guys. But if it goes into nighttime look, I'll just turn the light on and we'll keep going. I feel like I can do it within two and a half to three hours, probably even sooner than that you never know but okay we got our reference so let's go over there to the canvas and get to it come paint with me So with this piece, I decided to use oil paint for the neck and the shoulders and for the face. Oil paint is super pigmented, it's really nice and like buttery, and it's really cool for blending colors. And even though I didn't really decide on blending any colors for this one, I just wanted to kind of, you know, use a few different mediums. So after this, I'll definitely be using acrylic because acrylic can dry faster and it helps with like wanting to get things done a little bit quicker and so i just really feel like as i've been doing art and picking it back up i've learned that art is a process and it's teaching me about how life can be a process and how the middle parts of it can be the most rewarding and the things that you'll be able to look back on and say hey i learned this and so with art there may be moments where i have a vision and then it changes as i'm painting and that's all a part of the process, all a part of the journey that I really do cherish. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Another thing that I love to incorporate in my art is the use of vibrant colors. I really just love 
what colors can do. Um, fun fact, I took a class in college that was all about color theory and just learning about the power of different colors and what they can convey, how businesses use them, how they're used in marketing and how powerful they can be. And I really just wanted to transfer that over into my art and use them in the best way. And also it's really cool to the eye. It's pleasing to the eye to see something that's super vibrant and kind of in your face and that can kind of just pop out to you. And so that's kind of my goal as I continue on this art journey is to use as much color as I can and make it pleasing to the eye, but also have intention behind it with how it can make someone feel and how it can make someone even react or have a response because art breeds a response. It just does. Art is an expression and I really do cherish that. All right, y'all, so this is day three. I actually went ahead and added some stuff to the painting off camera. So I used oil right here for like a nice rose look. The oil is still kind of drying right here and then I kind of want to touch up some of these edges and everything, but it's looking really good. I'm thinking I want to also paint these. I definitely need to touch this up and everything, so gonna get to that for sure uh, oh I also added a little pizzazz some marker like if you can see it's really small like little yellow dots I'm gonna make sure all this is like cleaned up a little bit better and then yeah it should be done but I'm mm, I may add something to the hair like some actual accents or something like that because I think that would be pretty cool but yeah, I'm really excited for this one. It's Women's History Month. And so, listen, we got to make sure that we do our women right or represent them right, even through art. So, yeah, more to this in a few. All right, guys, so this is like day three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> um, but I made some edits to the rose and I made sure that it was a little bit more vibrant and it was with oil as well so that is taking a little bit to dry but and then I also kind of touched up the edges of everything kind of made it a little bit more cleaner and everything so I'm really loving it she's looking pretty cute um so I'm very excited about this one this is 18 by 24 inches and it is acrylic oil and marker so i love this one i think that she's a beauty and yeah i love it Don't 